Hey guys, welcome to another video. And this this video is actually the uh, heat issue fix uh, part two video. So if you guys have missed the part one, I have given the link in the description below where you can find out. So in the part one, I would have shown you on how to fix it using the uh, bandy cam and other softwares. So in this part two, I'm going to show you how to reduce the CPU temperature using a throttle stop. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's go into the video. So first you need to download a software called as throttle stop you can either google it directly like this or i have given the link in the description below so this is that software or a screenshot and this is this details okay so you can better find the link in my description below and you can download it directly so i have downloaded it and installed it and i also have configured it to show you guys the best settings so this is the recommended settings which will be generic for all the laptops uh, so you need to enable this feature PPP, disable turbo and BD project. Uh, I'll explain it in the more in the description. You guys can check it out. So leave the remaining settings as it is. Then click on this fiber button. So when you click on this fiber button, you'll get this new pop-up. Here is the where you have to reduce the CPU voltage. Uh, so for my laptop, it is minus 125. So I have already configured it and reduced it to minus 125. Okay, uh, so for to reduce it, you need to select this uh, uh, radio button 125. You need to reduce the offset voltage. Uh, so I will reset it for you to demonstrate for you guys. You need to select the unlock of voltage, and then you need to set the offset voltage to minus 125 and give apply. Before you give apply, you need to set select this option. So once you click apply, the voltage will be up with the CPU. Next, you have to select this Intel GPU and also CPU. Catch it. So I am reducing the offset voltage to minus 125. I have already tested it. It worked in mine uh, as of minus 125. So if I reduce more than that, my laptop will crash. So so, so yeah, my CPU voltage is minus 125 only. So in your case, you just better start with minus 100, then reduce it further to minus 125. Make sure you just give this so that the voltage will be applied as soon as you click OK. Okay, the next settings is you have to reduce the clock speed. Okay, so before you reduce the clock speed, go to the Google and search for your CPU model. Uh, and here in this near CPU model, you have to um, here you have to go and search for your uh, processor brace frequency and the maximum turbo frequency. Mine is a 7820HK processor, which is a overclock uh, CPU. So it's already overclocked in my case so i so the, the default value when i opened the throttle stop it was around like uh, 3.9 gigahertz so i reduced it to 3.36 which is uh, almost that you know the 3.9 uh, 36 which is a 3.6 gigahertz which also reduces actually this will actually reduce a little bit of performance so yeah, I, I mean, but, but it does also reduce some of the temperature as well. Okay, so I just reduced it like only three points I have reduced. And same thing I have reduced it for other CPU cores like with 35, 35, 35. And click apply. And finally, after you apply all these settings, you have to click on OK. So this is the settings, guys. Uh, let me zoom it for you. Yeah, so this is the settings. Maybe you can take a screenshot or pass the video and set it in your system throttle stop. Okay, the next important step is as you guys can see, uh, the application runs in the task uh, in the notification uh, panel, but uh, you know, mostly it won't run uh, by default, it won't run. So, for that, what you need to do is you need to go to options uh, and here you need to uh, set this option like minimize on close. And you need, uh, so you, you guys can also pass it and you can select these settings. Uh, so yeah, so if you select these settings, uh, if you, you know, like if, even if you press on close, it won't, the application won't close, but instead it will just go into the, uh, in this notification tray. Okay, so the next thing what I'm going to show you is uh, how to launch this application by default when you uh, you know like start your system so for that you need to go to start and uh, enter the task scheduler 
so this is the windows default application where you can create task so uh, so we will create a new basic task and we will name it like uh, start total stop okay uh, then we will give it a next and then you need to select this option when whenever we log on to the system okay then we have to start a program so we need to find that program so if you can't able to find this program maybe uh, first it will mostly in the program phase but if you guys can't able to see it it's going to start and then right click on it this more file location and then right click on it this is a shortcut so more let's open file location okay i think it's in the top uh, yeah it's in the top um, open file location so this is the path guys so you can just you know uh se select this and copy and then paste it on the file uh, file opening folder and then here you can find that photo stop program and click on it to select that program to start then next finish okay so that's how you need to is uh, set up a task scheduler uh, let me show you the task scheduler so you can see here let's go to the yes yeah it's here it's that's a star total uh, stop task scheduler okay so if you press on run uh, it will start the throttle stop application uh, even if it is closed okay so in my case it's already opened okay let me restart and try it once uh, and, uh, and and i want you guys also uh, you know after you place the settings reset and try uh, for some people you may face uh, you know like even after restart you can't able to uh, see the throttle stop running so for that what you need to do is you need to go back to the task scheduler and select that task and double click on it to open the properties and here uh, you need to uh, you know like go and select this option uh, and then you need to check this to give a high privileges and also you need to set the operating system to windows 10 okay so the other settings also you guys can check so this is how the setting should be if you want to start the throttle stop on on powering on your machine so you guys can pause the video and you guys can check your settings uh, yeah even here also i have made some changes so uh, you guys can take a screenshot or pass the video and check the settings here so that's how you need to uh, set right so if you wanted to test the throttle start uh, running so you can exit from the noti notification tray and you can right click on the task and press run so if the, the throttle stop run in the notification tray then the task scheduler is set up properly okay so that's how you need to do it guys so make sure you give high privileges to run the throttle stop okay so this is how you will be reducing a lot of cpu temperature when uh, running the games okay guys so this is how we will be reducing the temperature of the hardcore gaming laptops uh, so i have made it as generic as possible so the settings will be almost same for all the intel based cpu laptops uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any clarification or if you guys face any issues make sure you guys reduce the uh, offset voltage from 100 and then you can reduce it furthermore uh, if the system crashes then stop your temperature till 100 uh, don't worry guys even if your system crashes when you restarted the uh, uh, windows uh, uh, bios will reset the temperature offset temperature to normal so you don't have to worry about that Okay guys, so that's all about this video. So this is how you need to reduce the CPU temperature. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys like this video, just give us a thumbs up. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.